Alright, we've got the uh, DEN model RPI 300 CNC hydraulic spinning lathe with the CNR 475 CNC control. Do we walk around then? Sure. Come back on the console, right? Come on, man. One attachment, we're not connected. It's a cut off. We'll show that. Headstock, there's a knockout cylinder. It's all hydraulic. Support attachment is up through here. We'll see that in the program. One of the two programs I'm going to run will use this. Hydraulic manifold, boiler. This is your X, Y axis, basically. These two guys here. And all three of these, of course, are for the tool change operation. We'll do a tool change on here, too. That's the hydraulics for the tool change. X, Y. These are the hydraulic servos here and here. The other one, main hydraulic system, chiller, after cooler for the oil. Main control, we are running 480 volts presently. Come on into the panel. We've got on top here, two dry boards are right here, X and Y off to the right. And these guys here are the PLC, it's all IO involved there and in a power supply. Pretty straightforward. Got the Allen Bradley spindle control down here, the 1336, and then your standard switch gear relays and such. That's about it there. Come around over to the other side here. Control, push button, CRT. I don't know if you can come in on the camera. Red, white, and blue. And the operator's console here. Basically, two sets of buttons, cycle, start, stop, and hydraulics. And these are your pressure gauges for the tail stop, with all the documentation right above it, owner's manual on the right, uh, electrical schematics, programming manuals are here, and we've got pretty much everything we need to run it, so, and it's in English for the most part, so it's not a problem. And coming back to the the operator's console on this side, we're not using it a lot. All we're really using at this point in time are, is the joystick right here, which is for X and Y axes, and the P-speed control pots for how fast you want to go off the joystick. This is all in manual mode. And as long as we're in manual mode, I'm going to start off with a few hydraulic functions here, Pete. Uh, tail stock would be number one. We're going to run this in and out a few times. All that happens automatically when I'm running the program. That's this here. You got the support on here next. This guy here. I don't know if you can see it back here. Right over here. That's just the support that comes out. Again, try it a couple of times, no big deal. Now, the last one, you can only hear it, which is the knockout. It's inside there. See it moving? That's the knockout. That's that cylinder in the rear. That's that. And then lastly is the cutoff, which also, you can see the lines moving. They're capped off right now. These lines would plug into this cylinder right here. And if I jog it, it's all hooked up. You can see it move there. I'm just calling for the cutoff blade to come in. It's not presently connected. It wasn't being used before, so, but it's on there. And then I'm, if you stay right about there, I'm just going to program a spindle speed. If you come over here in manual, what I'll do is, is, uh, Belmont, I'll just program Belmont speed, uh, maybe 600, up too many, that's 6,000, thank you. And hit enter, and spindle start, and then pan over there. And we'll do a couple on off with the spindle. That's on, off. We'll start again. As soon as it breaks. There we go, on. Get an idea of what's going on there. And off. And then with the joystick here, 
Same thing, in manual mode, I'll just bring the axes and move around here a little bit, please. We'll just kind of go anywhere. We're going to do the same thing later in playback mode. To, we'll record these actions and see how it all goes. I'm basically just going in a circle here, but... That's, that's, that's the manual mode. If I wanted to speed those up, I could off the pot, so... That looks pretty good. That's all hydraulic there. And I'm going to hit return. Bring it back. Break. Send that home. And while we're at it, we're going to do a tool change. I'm caught in the middle of nowhere here. I'm going to bring this over, put this tool up in here, move over there, and go get that tool. The things go right here. Let's see. Two. And we're going to bring it to 16930. Watch me at the board here. One. Zero, comma, two, five, four, six, two, and let's see those go. Going over there. And now that we're in position, all I do is have, I have to hit the set number and the tool will go up. So I'm back over here for a second. I'm going to hit set, two, oh, three, which are these numbers right up here. They all stay the same. And two, oh, three. Comma, one, one, two. Now I'm going to hit enter, so go back over here and watch the tool. We're going to send it up on up home. Just that simple. And I'm going to re-enter coordinates to go pick up the middle tool now, which is two, one, one, seven, two, zero, two, five, four, six, two. We're good to go there. I hit enter. There she goes over there. And I'm going to grab the center tool and bring it down. Set. 210112. Here we go. Ready? And, and that's good to go there. So that said, that's the joystick. That's the tool change right there. And we're still in manual. We're in system now, so we're set there. And I guess we can do a playback right now. Let's do a playback and then we'll do an auto cycle and load a program. So right now to do a playback in manual, just to see how this works, manual and break, we're all the way back. I'm going to press PB and when I do this, kind of watch over here, I'm going to press push button which starts my recording. Then I'm going to hit come right here and start recording the movement and we'll come back and stop it. That should be now. I'm recording now, and everything I do right now you know, should be recording. And the speed controls off this joystick too, so I can go fast or slow. And this is all kind of goofy, but just to get an idea of what it can do. And there's, now I'm going to just stop my playback now. There. And then I'm going to hit playback, and let's see if it goes back home and just copies the tracing or traces what I just did. It should. It goes back. It goes, comes right back out. Now it's do, rich, just mimicking exactly what I just did 30 seconds ago. Just going around. It, it records speed, any intermissions, and of course, hit all the coordinates that you give it off the joystick. That's everything I just did. And it just sits there, and if I hit it again, it'll go back and do the same thing all over again. It's going to run the tracing program. Now I could save this, name it, and put it in the directory, and it'll save it with whatever I name it as. That's what I just did there. Which are just a bunch of goofy movements, but you see what it'll do. It traced everything I did. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. And lastly, I'll just run a program. I'm going to come over here and load a program. There's two of them that were already in the directory. One of them was called 319. Oh, that one's already in. We've already got 319. Let's just go to auto. No, let's just load it. We might have to load it again. Load. I'm going to load it just to make sure. Load. 319. Enter. And let's see if we can get to auto. There, now we're in. And I should be able to hit cycle start. Let's see if it goes back and starts the program. There it is. 
with this tool. I could use any tool. I think we're clear with this tool. Let's, let's watch it. There we go. We'll do this in a couple times and now change programs. There's one other one called Melt. We can run that. You might want to get in close on this one once and I'll run it a couple times. They're short cycles, Pete. Ready? There we go. Just kind of get right in there. This is load program, and it's it's uh, in system. It's going to be in system. Load program. It's called milk. So let's get that on there for whatever reason. M I. If I can find L, we can get shape. L K milk. Sub one off. Enter that, and we're going to go back to auto. And we can hit this again. This is a little bit different program. There it goes. You want to zoom in on that? That's using a couple different tools on there. That one's farther back. The bigger part it looks like they were running. One more time. Start, cycle start, in. That's back, and lastly, if you care to, Pete, I don't know, we could try hit cycle start if you want to just key in on the screen one time. It may or may not come out, but you can see what X and Y are doing, and the spindle speed picks up right over here, inches per minute. We can give it a shot. I'll run one program, and, and that'll be it. Here we go. Got X and Y both moving simultaneously now. There's the program name up here. the program. That's it, Pete. That's pretty much it. Tooling. And tooling, that's right, we forgot it's back over on this side here. Maybe the last one. Yeah, we've got the books covered. Uh, the extra tooling, one big chuck piece, two chuck parts, and extra roller tools, besides the three that I've got on there. All right, thank you.